Hey guys, welcome back. Today I'm going to show you how you can make this miniature milk jug. All you're going to need is a little eyedropper bottle. I'm using the Blink because that's the size I have. Now this one was a little bit shorter, but that's okay. So if you notice on this one, there's this little lip right here. That's going to be this lip that's right here. What you want to do, very carefully, take a sharp knife. I'm using the knife that I've had um, open yesterday and I don't know if you can see it but you want to go ahead and very carefully go down don't let the knife have too much pressure on it to where you end up cutting into it and snapping the blade off but this is what I did just like that then you want to take some sandpaper sand that top flat okay peel your sticker off where the label is the blank labels are more of a plastic so they come off really really easy and in one piece however if you have a label that does not come off and it leaves little bits and pieces get yourself some really sticky duct tape and then take the duct tape to it and fold it like this and then you want to go ahead and do that to the stickiness and it'll pull off the residue that's left behind. Don't even bother with the goo gone. I mean, if you can see, it's taking a little bit off right there where the um, dirt was stuck to it. But don't bother with the goo gone or all that other stuff trying to get it because it's just, this is the fastest way I've found. It's taking the duct tape. All right. Now, this one's a little messed up, this bottle, because it's been in storage for a while and I've been saving these. So I think it just kind of got whatever was in the drawer just kind of messed it up. So I'm just going to kind of straighten that little edge up but I mean you can leave it and let it have some character if you want okay so once that's done you either need to get yourself a button for your top a washer or a flat piece of wood I don't have any more of these flat pieces of wood I don't even know where I bought it because I've had it for so long um, and then you want to have it to where it fits on top. You can have this a little bigger or you can kind of have it go straight like that. I would like this washer to be a smidge bit bigger, but I don't have it. But just for the video purposes, I want to just show you how to do it. Okay, the next step you're going to need to do is get yourself some thin wire and you want to get yourself a pair of round nose pliers. Okay, I'm going down and I'm going to put that in there, cross it over, and when they meet, I'm going to turn it, okay? After I turn that there, then I'm going to take my pliers and hold it here and hold it in my finger and just kind of go at it a little bit more. Then I'm going to take my wire cutters very carefully so it doesn't splash back at you and cut that off, okay? Once you have that, then you can measure down where you want your handles to be and you want to poke a little hole right in there. Take your wire that you just cut and you want to fit it in there. Okay? Just like that. Do the same thing on the other side. Okay, once you have your handles on there, make sure you have them in the direction you want them to be at. I'm just going to take my hot glue gun and I'm going to let it drip some glue down in there. All right, you want to let it cool and kind of roll it around so it gets down on that. When it's cooled down enough, then you want to repeat that process and do it to the other side. Okay, so if you're not going to be painting this with a um, material that would, and watch it, this will get kind of warm, that will stick the plastic, you're going to want to um, lightly sand this with some sandpaper. So then you just kind of go over it a little bit just to kind of scruff up that surface. But do that before you do the handle. 
okay? Once you've done that, then you can paint it and then seal it. After that, you wanna go ahead and attach your top. Now my top has a hole in it, so I'm actually going to um, put it on something metal. So I can fill in that hole. All right, so then it becomes flat. Do a small amount of hot glue on there. And then attach your lid. Now, like I said, you could use a button if you want, but I don't like the button idea because I think the button's too thick. All right, let it cool completely off, and then you can paint it with whatever color you want. Okay, and it'll look just like this one, only a lot taller. All right, next step is if you want to make one of these little lights, go to your um, like auto store and get these little screw on lids and they look like this they're just like little caps they come with um i don't know my son gave them to me they come with some kind of wiring or something that you use then you need a balloon light or just find something that looks very similar to this i'm just saying it makes a um nice little lantern and we'll add a handle to it all right, so to do this, what you need to do is you need to cut the bottom off the same exact way. All right. Now you're going to have that left over. You can either A, drill that out, or you can very carefully cut it out. Be extremely careful because you don't want to cut in it. And I'm not cutting. I'm just kind of, I'm poking a hole and going all the way around it. That way I'm not bringing that blade toward my thumb. And if you notice, I have the blade in very, very low, so that blade can't snap off on me as easily. If you raise it up a little bit, you'll be able to see where it didn't go. Okay, so once you have it looking like that, then you want to go ahead and take and do the same thing to this. Get it caught right up on there. Once I have it started in this one. Just cut it off. Okay, so now what you need to do is you need to take your balloon light, make sure it works. And it needs to work by turning them. This one battery looks like it's getting kind of low. But you can replace the battery. Okay, put it down in there. It should fit kind of snug if you got the same ones I did. Turn it upside down. And then just put some hot glue in there to hold it in place.
I'm putting it on something cold and metal so it makes that glue cool off quicker. All right, now for the top, what you need to do is put some hot glue in here. Be careful you don't want to burn yourself. Try not to come all the way to the top. Give it a second for that hot glue to run down. When it starts running down, it's going to get a little um, hot on that plastic, which will soften it up a little bit. Straighten that up just enough like that. And when it's all cold, you should be able to still turn that to turn it off. Now you're going to need a handle. And how you need to do the handle is you need to wrap it around something round. So, or semi-round. So, like, the top of your pliers, they're round. So you can kind of just bend it like that. Then you can glue it wherever you want it. You can glue it here. You can glue it up here. You know, make it wider, longer. All right, so I decided to go with a bigger one because I didn't think it looked realistic enough for me. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put it like that, and then I'm going to bend my ends in. I made it about an inch and a quarter. And then I have two ends that are bent in like that. And then I'll poke a hole in there with the drill bit and then just put it in there like that. I decided not to do a drill bit and I just heated this needle up and then I poked it through. It worked out a little bit better. And then there it turns off turns on off on and you can hang it or whatever take it with your camping okay so this is what the little lanterns look like with the camping fire and the sleeping bags if you want to see how I made the camping fire and the sleeping bags subscribe and like below and I will show you that in a different tutorial thanks a lot leave a comment if you have any and I will see you next time have a great day.